So I'm just doing another two times four, so then I can add together um, onto um, my survival sheet. So let's just do this. So I'm keeping it nice and straight at the bottom here, and I'm doing four um, regular packets, or I've got the odd, you know, odd size in there, but you know. Okay, so four of these guys. Put out the way. I just find this is the quickest way of doing it uh, for me. And again, you don't have to do it this way or that way. You know, they all bond really well either way. And just keep it nice and straight. edge on that right hand there right hand edge is nice and straight so I'll put that at the bottom I'm gonna grab one of these guys do another have a look and see these are pretty much all the same size but um pretty straight huh so then I would put that in the middle but obviously one side if one side is longer than the other just check that one side is straight just aim with one one side straight and don't worry about the other side and then just go in the middle of your crisp packets and then to the other side or whatever side if you're right-handed left-handed you might find it easier going that way okay it only has to be a tack you don't have to go too crazy at this stage because once you've got your plastic on it all fused together and it will all look lovely okay we're going to do it make sure i'm going to have my right hand side as my good edge again going in the middle go that's three so for your survival sheet you need one of those which is a four um four by three and then you will need two times four by four which makes eleven so if I add this on here yeah, so look I've got slightly bigger packets there can you see that but I've got a straight bottom edge and I'm gonna um add this on and I'm gonna keep it nice and straight but you know, if suddenly happens, something happens and it goes like this, ooh, once you've put it on, don't worry. You know, you can try and peel it off if you want, but um, I would just get another crisp packet and I would just patch it over. So I'm gonna keep this edge nice and straight like this. And again, to the left. That's a three. Okay, we'll add another one to make the four. And you just put it down. You can you see it's gone down underneath me there? Now, this one's a longer one because I've used bigger packets. So, again, I'm going to keep this as my good edge, my right hand edge. So, I'm going to add that one onto my right hand side. So, this will be longer on my left. And then afterwards I can trim that up and sort that out at a later date. So going in the middle there. The right. To the left. So now I have a four, a four by four. Yeah, can you see that? Four by four, but I've got a good edge going on here. So then I could, uh, I'm going to do another four. 
like that. Best edge. And I've got a nice clean bottom edge as well. I don't know, I've got the kickoffs today, I'm sorry. And we're going this way. And this way. There's your two. Where's your straight edge? There's your straight edge. Okay. And we go onto there. There's your straight edge on your right hand side. In the middle. We just keep going right to left or left to right, whatever you feel comfortable. There's a three, one more. Okay, there's my straight edge at the bottom and a straight edge on the right. Bring it down there, that's it. Beautiful. It's so easy, guys. This is a survival sheet. 11 by four regular packets or 100 centimeters wide by 200 centimeters long and there's four times four there and then we're going to get the other four and add that on okay right hand side or whatever side you allocated your straight edge to be okay and we're going to add that on again in the middle keeping your straight edge and we'll keep also it's really good idea to keep the central line of it as well so especially if you've got a good straight table line it up in the middle there we go and then to the right try just doing this seam the more heat you put on these crisps the more they will shrink obviously um, and you've still got quite a bit of plastic to go to get onto them haven't you so that's an eight eight by four so far okay and it's getting bigger and then we're going to put another three four by three on there to make that the 11. again we've got the straight edge on my right hand side um lovely jubbly and again keeping it all central See, there's that extra edge there. I'm just going to take that little one off there and then I'm going to use that as a patch where I haven't slightly got it um, lined up too well on the edge here. If I move this along here. You can see that there, look. Doesn't join up too well as well. So we're going to put a patch just like that on there. And you won't even know the difference. On there like that. Beautiful. And the patch is done and it's all nice and sturdy. Okay, so that is four by 11. That's a survival sheet. Um, and then you'll need to get some plastic on the front and the back of that and leave two to three fingers my big chunky fingers, all the way around um, your survival sheet um, so that you can fuse it a bit like a, a toasted sandwich. Um, this is the filling and the plastic is the bread. Um, really quick, really simple. Once you um, get used to doing all your crisp packets, washing them, cutting them open, this will um, help someone save their life as well as um, protect them from the elements um, for our less fortunate community. I hope that's a little bit more clearer. Thanks. Keep well.